big new adventure. That's what we're going to do. We're still going to do the motorcycle stuff, but we're going to be traveling in our RV. It's a larger one. There's lots of videos on here of people parking smaller ones in parking lots and up goat trails. But you can't do that with a big RV. So follow our channel, enjoy the motorcycling and the RV traveling. Another one of those days, huh? We're headed back from the distance uh, from where we wanted to go. We didn't want to go this way. But by these pictures you see here, right between me and probably at the end of a, the video, we got a broken rubber shear spring. That's what that thing is right there on the trailer. We don't know how long it's been broke, but we noticed it's leaning a lot. So we've ordered parts and we're headed to where the parts are getting delivered and there's supposed to be a mechanic there that's going to put them on. Naturally, there will be a video attached to this right after this statement showing, hopefully, being worked on and then done. So what's the name? We're going to a park and they're going to let us work on it in an RV park. What's the name of that park? Do you remember? I think it's Greer Pine Shadows. In, in, on uh, what? 89. Yeah. Right outside of Flagstaff. We got 48 miles to go. 48 on 49.1. It says this. I'll, I'll go with your GPS. Well, that's what we're doing. For some reason this thing won't shift. Uh, get in. Uh, get in overdrive. Come on. There we go. Yeah, and then, oh yeah, storm. Yeah, we're driving into a storm. And we're driving down 40, which is one of the roughest roads. This sucks. Yeah, it's terrible. We, we're not going to go back that way, even when that's the way we want to go. We're not getting on 40 again. We're going to continue on 89, and we're going to go uh, the uh, northeast on that road. Maybe it's better than this one. This one is rough. So, uh, what else do you want to say? What did you think of that campsite we just came from? The free one. I like it. What was it called? McHood. McHood? McHood Park. I'm sorry she's speaking so low, guys. She's she's a woman. She's got that dainty little voice. Speak it up. Shout it to the people. McHood Park. There you go. McHood Park. And Clear you like Creek, it? Clear Creek Reservoir. Yeah, girl. Speak it up. So that's where we're uh, where we're coming from, and we liked it. We we still had five more days. We could have stayed there. We may go back there. Who knows? We might, but I don't really want to go down this road again. <laughs> no. So uh, well, now we're going to attach the video that I'm going to make as soon as we get there. Uh, we got a nice place to stay. It should be. We're paying thirty some dollars a night. Forty four. Forty four dollars a night, dear. That's why we stay at free places so we can afford to pay these kind of prices. Prices, which is for where we're going, is pretty cheap because the KOA there was what seventy five dollars a night. Yeah. In Flagstaff. Come on, KOA. It's just a place to park. Uh, well, they have all kinds of other things too, pools, and sometimes they have free breakfasts in those. Sometimes. Cake breakfasts. Some of them are I, pretty nice. For 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 uh, thirty five dollars, I can buy a pretty nice breakfast for the two of us. Yeah. Not, nothing compared to staying in Laughlin at the casino. I mean, they fed us. That was a great and it was a, place. It was a twenty dollars, something like that, a, a day. Ended up being one hundred twenty dollars. So, anyway, don't want to keep talking because this video is going to get way too long. So, yeah. stay tuned. And uh, now I'm going to teach my wife how to shut you off. Press the button. Yes, we're in the pine trees finally. We're at this campsite right here. Greer's Pine Shadows RV Park and Storage. Uh, costing us $44 a night for a pull-through. We're not real 
crazy about that part, but you gotta do what you gotta do. This is right off of 89 Highway. Uh, I'd be on the east side of Flagstaff. But uh, so far we like it. It's okay. Spots are small. If you got a really big 44 foot or whatever, you, I wouldn't even try it here. We had a heck of a time getting our uh, 38 foot in here. Uh, it's got no cable, uh, no pool, no none of that stuff. Uh, but it does smell nice here. And the reason we're here is because we're broke down. And I, I think I will add that video on the front of here. You've probably already seen that part. But uh, we got a broke part here on the RV. And the guy, uh, there's a guy here that's a mobile repairman is going to repair it while we sit in it. Hopefully the two hour job doesn't take too many days because we can't afford it. Uh, so far, you're squeezed in here tight. I don't. I definitely don't like to park where I'm sharing a courtyard with two other RVs. So that's not a plus. But we're all hooked up, and it's starting to rain. And Daryl, the mechanic, doesn't really want to work in the rain, even though he'll be under there. Uh, but we got all hooks up, all the things hooked up. No cable, but we got like 32 over-the-air channels. So that will work for us. So that's this camp spot. Now let me show you around a little bit. I'm sure they have trash and all that stuff, but this is it. If you need a campsite and you're here, that's fine. This will work. We also found out about another free one called Wilson on the other side, the west side of Flagstaff. So you might want to check it out. But that's all for now. Well, we got the parts, overnighted them from uh, them guys. Man, what a helpful bunch of people they were. Here's what broke. I showed you on there. That's what it's supposed to look like. I think it goes that way. He's here, Gary. But the guys here is going to put them on. I just wanted to show you what they look like before we put them on. And that's them. We got the parts. That's what's busted. One of these ripped loose. The other one's almost ripped loose. I mean, part way. One's, I think, gone. But we'll find out in a second. Daryl's here and is... Uh, Got all his tools, getting ready to do her good. That's Daryl right there. Wave, Daryl. Oh, <laughs> I'm good. I worked better without being filmed. <laughs> so, but he's going to get her fixed up. We put the slides in so we can get to it. And uh, he don't want to be filmed because he's he's just too pretty. He's afraid the girls are chasing. We had to put the slides back in. That's okay. We can get to it there. Jack it up. Pull the wheels off and uh, start putting stuff in. Well, we had to go get another jack. He didn't want to use my bottle jack. We got one wheel off. And there's the part right there in question. We got to pull that out of there. Hopefully, that just drops out once we get the other wheel on. Then we bolt up the other one and off she come. More later. Okay, here's the old part. You see where this is shiny. That's shiny. It was all rubber coated. But this split and then went up and was resting up on top of the shackle. This doesn't look near as bad as when it was in there, but it's still terribly worn. I mean, it's split all the way up to here. So. Thanks to Daryl, we're going to be doing just excellent with them new ones. Living and learning. We got the new part in there, but we needed to have this up higher, but it doesn't even really matter if it's up higher because the spring 
the shackle won't come down to hit that because you got to have this eyelet and that eyelet matching so we got what we got to do is put a bottle jack in here and push that spring down to grab a hold of that so uh, probably if we had everything jacked up jacked up on it on both sides it might do it but I think the what we're getting ready to do will work well this side's done we already got the slide outs out that leveled it up a lot don't have to worry about that leaning anymore uh, they did send the wrong part I don't know if I mentioned that or not the part they sent was for a 20,000 pound trailer the part I had that one is a 16,000 pound so it's gonna lift me up about an inch which is fine because I was about an inch or so lower than my truck I, that's gonna level me out it's gonna be great so now we're gonna get ready and do the other side and hopefully get her all done today should second side should be a lot easier because we know what tools to use and uh, where to put the jacks and all that so this side should be a lot faster also it's not busted completely of course the other one didn't look completely busted when we took it off but it uh, was in dire state straits that's for sure
It's all done. And he did a good job. Thanks, Daryl. That's going to help out the ride a lot. And right after we got done, the rain started, but we missed it. Now it's blue skies and birds.